Sore one to take. So yeah, it's like the debt of Yeah, it is. It's just, I mean, it's a one to take. Um, created plenty of opportunities through the game. Um, momentum did swing quite a few times. Um, we sort of took the lead. They got themselves back in it. They took the lead there close to the end. And the great thing from us is we showed resilience and got ourselves an opportunity to win the game. Um, it's that's just the way it goes. Sometimes you don't get those kicks, but. Um, we gave ourselves that chance, which was, yeah. was huge. It seemed to be the, the big thing that the Jamie and Gregor were saying there is where the were times when the chips were down and the way you responded is the big kind of step forward maybe from the summer. Yeah, I think that there was there was opportunities when they, they made breaks that everybody worked bloody hard to get back. There was there was that fight and desire to protect their own line and um yeah, I, th- I think that there was no lack of heart today. The boys worked hard, the boys put their bodies on the line. Um Unfortunately, we just we just came up short. It's a funny sort of game. There wasn't all that much, you know, line breaks or anything like that. Was it kind of you know slim pickings going to keep your, your eye in and try and you know make those those little breaks with the ball? Yeah, it was good? it was tough going. Um, both teams defended pretty well. Uh, the game seemed like it was sort of played between the twenty two and the tens on either side. So there was a lot of kicking, um, trying to sort of build that pressure. So. Um, there wasn't that many opportunities, but um, like we, we defended well and, and we applied pressure. And I mean, when we had our chances, we took most of them. So um, frustrating as hell, but it, it wasn't all bad. The sort of thing that carries through camp this week that frustration is do you try and flush it out, or is it something that drives you throughout the week going to the next test? Oh, I think there will be a mixture. Um, some people want to just flush it and, and move on. Others will, will use that. So. Um, Whatever suits the person best, I guess, and uh, get ready for next week. Ask about my player and how he's been, been feeling, you know, all of that front pay that goes into one kind of moment that defines it at the end. How was he kind of afterwards? The, the game wasn't lost by that kick. There was plenty of, plenty of times and moments in the game before that that um, was the winning of the game. It was an opportunity for us, but um, player, fair play to me, he, he was there, he took that on, and um, like I said, it just it just didn't quite come off. It's a tough gig to be a kicker, isn't it? You know, you, you do get so much yeah. focus at the end of the day, and you know, you walk kind of yards off, making a huge difference to something. Mean, just in, in general, you know, what sort of mentality do these guys have? Yeah, it's, it's a tough one. It's a lonely place being a kicker out there, um, but they never shirked away from it, and um, they had the courage to go for it. So good on them. He's Jamie. He just does what he does. Um, doesn't change the way he plays. It doesn't change anything about him. He's just that's Jamie. He's a he's a great leader and he, he leads by example. And today was no different. Yeah, I think the, the exciting thing is we we'll, we we'll get another opportunity next week. I think Fiji will be a slightly different test. Um, we know they're going to be physical. We know they'll be loose at times. Um, and we know that that's going to bring us challenges. Um, so next week's a, a huge one for us. We've got to bounce back now. Say that again, sorry. Oh, the, the atmosphere was amazing. It always is when you play at Murrayfield. Um, so I mean, for us, there's, there's absolutely no complaints in that. And just disappointed that we couldn't do more for them. That's, a, that's another one. You've just come out real narrow loss. Does it feel like it's been a bit of a theme this year? Uh, I wouldn't say a theme, I think it's definitely tough, um, you know, it's the small margins of international rugby, uh, there's a lot of momentum swings in the game and yeah, I came out on the wrong side today sadly. What well, the guys have been saying in terms of the momentum swings, you felt like you dealt when they were coming against you a lot better today, is that one of the real big things to take forward into these, uh, yeah, these tests? Yeah, absolutely, I think, you know, maybe the last couple of years there's been big games where you know, we may either gone behind on the scoreboard or you know, they let teams come back in and then it's that spitball effect, you know, we sort of leaking penalties, you're leaking whatever. And um, yeah, I thought we dealt with it really well today. You know, we had a lot of pressure on our line in the first couple of minutes, the first ten, and then Jimmy gets a great turnover. Um, and we, we build our way back up the park and then in the second half, you know, they get a couple of penalties on our line and yeah, some of the D was absolutely phenomenal. Sorry. Is that a fight? Xander's timer. <laughs> for his ice bath. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, think, I thought we dealt with it a lot better today. There was a lot of penalties, was that something you were having to watch all the way through? Just the way he was refereed around? Yeah, I think it's tough. Like I think maybe 
he was probably a lot harder uh, than most refs on, on, on certain parts of the game. He definitely gave a lot of the breakdown, uh, which, which was great for both teams. Um, but yeah, you know, I think there was a couple stupid penalties that we probably um, could have had without. But um, yeah, yeah, I think that's something we need to sharpen up on a little bit. Do you take frustration from coming so close through the week? Is it the sort of thing that you, you guys want to keep to fuel you going into the next test? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like if we get a kick at the end of the game, you know, we're we're singing songs and we're we're happy as Larry, and probably don't have as tough a review like naturally uh, as you would with a loss like that and I think your know, losses like that definitely hurt a lot more than um, you know your 20 point deficit so uh, yeah look, we'll definitely have a, a close look at the game uh, and take the learnings into next week as well. You've been enjoying having Jack in the international camp with you kind of knowing him from club, the club environment and kind of seeing how he's adapting in you. Yeah you know, look, he's, a, he's a, a great character and a great player and I think you know last year and a bit he's been in Glasgow uh, he's become a huge part of our team and um, you know, we give him the ball early at Glasgow, and he, he, he really sets the front foot. And um, you know, bringing him in, into camp has been awesome. Uh, he's he, he's learned his stuff in such a short space of time. He's been really passionate. He, uh, he had a rendition he had to do on the bus uh, of Flower of Scotland, and he absolutely nailed it. And he nailed it really, really well. So, uh, yeah, he's been a great addition, and uh, loved having him. In, so yeah. What's he been like as a guy to work with for you? You know, given the, the, the similarities to the roles that you're playing, and they are just. I suppose there's an element of competition, but then also you've got that tandem with Greg's going at Warriors as well. Yeah, I think before Danny brought him in, you know, I'd sort of had the conversation with Danny that um, you know competition, especially number eight, was was, was a thing that, that that I was after and that I wanted. And you know, I, I feel I play my best rugby when you've got players around you um, who, who are doing better. So him coming across and you know uh, playing at eight, you know, really compliments. You know, I can do the line out stuff at six and. Um, and then if he goes off, you know, it's an easy transition. Um, so I think I think we work really well together. And you know, you add in Rory Dars and Mesh and Jay and uh, other players as well. You know, it's a it's, it's a pretty strong bat row we've got. So yeah, it's brilliant. It always feels like there's competition at eight. I mean, you, you must never you know feel like that you, you've, you've properly got your hands on the jersey because there's so many guys coming up and want to, to get into that spot. Yeah, I think you know the last couple of years I think I've played quite a lot, um, but. Yeah, I mean, you can read into what everyone says online, do whatever. I think you know, what really matters is what we've got in the room, and you know, you know what really matters is the people that you care about, whether it's coaches, the players, the family, and stuff as well. So, um, yeah, you know, I think the competition that I now having Jack in, you know, you've got Nick Henning, Josh Bayless, Maggie Bradbury's playing really well down south. Like, there's competition everywhere, um, so it makes everyone elevate their game. And I think that that's only good for Scotland and the way we play. How much confidence does it give you that you had this run? Jersey and you just reeled them off. That's you know some really top class players all vying for that that place. Yeah, you know it's it's a great confidence boost for me. I think um, you know, I'm quite a confidence player, and I think I struggle sometimes when you know you're in and out of the team and you're maybe not getting the same amount of game time as you want. You know, um, but I think you know the last couple of years it's been it's been absolutely brilliant. I've managed to you know string some games together, um, and yeah, I think that's made me better as a player. But as I said, you know, when you've got other people vying for it as well. I think the great thing about this squad is that everyone's on the same page and you know, whoever's playing in the jersey, everyone's backing them and wants to see them do well. So that's what it was like having Jack coming in today. So yeah, it was great. Well, was it actually going against Michael Hooper playing that in his first game since his wee little break? Uh, he must have been a tough player today. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's a he's a world class player, you know, he's shown that over the years and uh, I think it was really strong from him coming out and saying how he was struggling mentally, and you know, uh, you know that's the, the pressures of the game. And um, you know, he plays so much rugby week in, week out, barely ever gets injured. So, you know, I think him having that break really set a great precedent for other players, uh, especially on the international stage. So, my hat goes off to him. But uh, yeah, no, him coming out today was was obviously massive for them. Uh, it was a great boost to have him back in the seven jersey. You know, he really made a meal of our breakdown. So, um, you know, they've got a quality back row as well. So. Just love playing against that competition. Did you next week? Are you looking forward to it? What's the day's preparations you got in Yeah, the Fiji are huge. You know, they've, they've progressed massively over the last year and a bit. You know, with their players coming in, you know, a great coach under Vern. Um, yeah, there'll be a huge test, especially coming here. And um, they've got you know quality all over the park. So we're gonna have to be on our our, our best game. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely have a look at them throughout the week uh, and see where see where we can have a crack at them.